Hey, if you ever wonder why you still are dropping your bike, well, we're going to discuss that right here today. And we go into the parking lot and do some demonstrations. Hey, everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. This is Rich. And today we're going to discuss why even experienced riders continue to drop their bike at slow maneuvers. So let's jump into this part before we go into the parking lot. One of the reasons is you must have positive mindset. A lot of riders don't have positive mindset when they start going to slow maneuvers. Even when you jump on this bike for a regular ride, you got to have a positive state of mind. Positive mindset will take you far. You got to go out there knowing that this is going to be the best ride that you have ever had. So from here, we're going to get to number one when we get out to the parking lot. So let me get dressed, jump on a motorcycle, and head out to the parking lot, and we're going to continue this discussion. So stay tuned. Okay, now that we're out in the parking lot, let's continue. Another reason a lot of bikers are dropping their bike is they refuse to let go of the front brake. We see it all the time. People that have been in to parking lot practice with us, and they be going to ride, and they still using the front brake and wonder why they're dropping their bike in slow maneuvers. You do not need the front brake. In fact, I made a video about smooth stopping in which you show you don't need the front brake. So I'll put that video up in here, so make sure you check that video out so that you find out that you do not need the front brake. And another reason is if you kill power to that rear wheel, then you will drop the bike. And how do you kill power to the rear wheel? By putting that clutch 100%. You do not want to do that. You've got to have steady momentum forward moving for your bike, even at slow skills. Now, we all know the faster you go, you don't need control of the bike, but you've got to have command, control, confidence in your skill levels when you're going slow. This is why we call our course Command and Control Confidence Course. Steady throttle, no matter what you're doing, even in your turns, a steady throttle. I try to keep my throttle around 1100 and 1500 RPMs. It's kind of windy out here, so I hope it's picking it up. So what I'm gonna do is get on the bike and show you. I have a camera right here so you can see my hand. Then I'm gonna do a couple of U-turns and I will never touch the front brake at all. And then we're gonna continue on to the number one reason most riders are dropping their bike. So let me put my helmet on. You know, I'm always safety first. Put my helmet on, all geared up all the time, even in parking lot practice. I'm going to do some U-turns and show you that you do not need that front brake. Okay, now that I'm on the bike, I'm going to do a couple of U-turns, maybe some weave to show you that. Keep a steady throttle. Don't bring it up too high. Don't keep it too low. I like to keep mine around 1,100 and 1,500 RPMs. And if you happen to stop the bike with the front brake, make sure that your wheels are absolutely straight. And I'm going to do maybe some U-turns and some circles to show you that my hand will never, ever hit that front brake. So what's gonna happen now is we ride. <laughs> Best part of it all. So I'm just gonna come down here and do some weaves. I have no cone set up, but do a couple of weaves. And if you look at my hand, my hand is not touching that front brake at all. A couple of weaves coming towards the camera. Then I'm gonna do a U-turn right quick. U-turn, steady throttle. My throttle is not going above 2,000. Another U-turn. Steady throttle. Slow down. Slow down, slow down. U-turn. Let the bike lean. Get some circles in. And not once have I touched that front brake. So we're going to continue on and go on to the number one reason that most bikers are still dropping their bike. Okay, let's continue. Another reason bikers are dropping their bike is because of false evidence appearing real. And what is false evidence appearing real? That's fear, F-E-A-R. If you fear you're gonna drop your bike, you're probably gonna drop it. What I'm speaking about, if you're riding along and a biker in front of you or a car in front of you come to a sudden stop, you are already at your slow riding. You're about to come to a stop. You got the frictions on down, you got your throttle, you got the rear brake, and then you start thinking, wow, he stopped early. And you start fearing that, well, I got to do specific things as I'm going to drop my bike. Your feet come off, they should remain on your floorboards or your pegs, 
and you start hitting that front brake and you drop your bike. So do not let fear get in your way. It's all about confidence and control. Confidence and control, your skill will get up there. And now, with that in mind, the number one reason that we see most riders drop their bikes. Now you gotta think about, like I talk about police officers. They go through a three week course and that's not including police procedures. That's just the riding proportion of the course. Then after that, they go through field training. So they have extensive training. After the field training, no matter how many years you've been riding motors, each and every year, you go through an in-service course to keep your skills up. So what are they doing? They are practicing. And practice, or failure to practice, is one of the number one reasons most riders are still dropping their bikes. Combined with front brake, no power to the rear wheel, not in a friction zone, they don't practice. Never be satisfied. Never, ever be satisfied. Once you learn all those skills, go out and practice. Now the question is, how long should you practice or how often should you practice? We always practice at least once a week, regardless of how long, five, 10 minutes. In fact, we have a ride coming up tomorrow, which is Saturday. Today is Friday, so this video will probably be out Thursday. And on our way to our meetup spot, Cake and I will pull into a school and we will practice. We'll practice emergency braking. We'll practice a couple of U-turns and some slow riding. Less than five minutes, we out going on that ride tomorrow. So the key is, once you learn all this stuff, do not be satisfied. Practice continuously. Anyone can be a parking lot expert, but you gotta practice in order to have that transfer to the real world motorcycling. That's all I have for now. I hope this video helped you, and if it did, Go down and give us a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, we love teaching. We love sharing our knowledge because the more we share, the better we become. I still drop my bike, but I still evaluate what did I do wrong each and every time. But that's all I have for now. I'm Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders. So if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. I'm out. Peace.